Hey everyone, Mac is back, and today we're going to talk about a little more in depth with the troop medals. Uh, I just want to go over some things. If uh, you have the patience to, uh, you know, save a little bit of money and you want to get some uh, nice buffs from it, um, I find this uh, very advantageous for even the medium spender players or even the low spender players. Um, if you just save up for a little bit you can get uh, some really good buffs. So uh, let's get into it. So the medals that I want to talk about, the troop medals, are the SS medals. Um, there you have to pay for them. However, they do give really good buffs. Um, the ones, the one that I have avoided so far has been the, uh, the Unsullied. And if you click on the Unsullied, you can see that there's a 10% training speed, there's a uh, tier four cost reduction, Fervor Defense, Fervor Health, Fervor Attack, and then the Rally Size Expansion. So that's uh, those are those are some really good buffs. However, um, that's not what we're looking for today. Today we're going to be looking for the total attack um, and see how what's the cheapest and easiest way to get there without having to, you know, throw thousands and thousands of dollars at this game. Um, so what I what I am looking at today to show you is like the Dothraki Rider or the Water Dancer. And then the King's Guard, King's Guard Infantry, and the King's Guard Bowmen. Those are the ones that we're going to be uh, specifically looking at. These five. Um, if you, you know, if you if you're interested in that sixth one with the uh, with the Unsullied, they, it's not a bad thing to do. Um, but you can find training speed elsewhere relatively easily. Um, the spear reduction that is actually in the uh, Advanced Military tab. And then the uh, Fervor Defense, Health, and Attack. There's actually researches for those as well. Um, they only go to 10%, where these ones go to 12, 15, and 15, respectively. So uh, you can, you don't have to go for those. Um, you have to spend for those, uh, and I'll show you how expensive they actually are to get there. So um, let's start with um, some of the stuff that I already have done, which is the these this King's Guard. And I'm just going to tell you right off the top is that the King's Guard is the one. These three here, both of all three of them, is I would not spend in the um, in the for the, I would not use the coupon to spend for these um, there are other ways to, the best way to get them is through um, they have once a month a uh, those those cards or those discounts those massive discounts you can get and it goes anywhere from 10% to 70% uh, I would recommend doing a 50 when it, when you get those uh, cards you get uh, either 50 60 or 70% and you get the, the cards for free so you can just keep changing them uh, until you know you run out of them, which uh, you gain them through, I believe, you know, killing rebel leaders and rebel groups and gathering uh, resources. So um, make sure that you you uh, do that and you get that 50 to 60 or 70 percent off of these troop medals. Um, very very slowly, uh, you can get them and you'll be able to unlock them because you don't need really a whole lot for some of them, but some you need a little bit more. So uh, we'll start with the King's Guard first, and if you click on the King's Guard. We're trying to get total attack, and as you can see right now, total attack is this third tier here. Um, this is one that takes the longest to get to, uh, because this first one, this first tier here for the total defense, is going to take uh, uh, 10 medals each. That's that gives you that takes 30 medals to to get through that, and then you're going to take 20 medals to get through uh, 20 medals each to get through these. So that's another 60, and this is where it gets a little more a uh, little more expensive. And these are 50 apiece, so now you're talking 150 medals to unlock the, this attack. But it's a nice, a nice uh, total attack of 9%. Um, and you think like 9%? Oh, it's not that much. But if you're using multiple troop formations, you know, if you're using two troop formations, you're doubling that. That's 18% right there. Um, if you're defending your castle, you multiply that times four because you're using all your troops, including your bowmen, are getting that uh, total attack. So that's something definitely to be looking at. And here's a little uh, spreadsheet that I put in, uh, uh, put together uh, from a Word document. And the King's Guard up here, you can see that I've added up all the medals. So you need 240 medals to get that total of 9% um, attack. And you can see the, the to other totals that you have here. So you could go a little further if you want to. You get the defense reduction and the health reduction along with uh, rally size expansion. Um, like I said, 240 medals, that's a, uh, a lot of medals. And next, we're going to look at the King's Guard Infantry. Uh, from there, you can see that the total attack actually is at the second tier in this one. So we will spend a lot, or have to buy a lot less medals for this one. Um, so again, you're looking at these 30 from the beginning here and the 60 here for a total of 90 medals. 
Uh, so 90 medals will get you that 7%, and um, it's 2% less than the previous one, but it's a lot less medals to get there. So this is probably one of the first ones that you want to try to attain if you're going this route, um, and you get, that, you get the 7% attack plus the um, health as well. And here we are in the kings with the king's bowman, uh, which is exactly the same as the uh, king's king's guard infantry. So they give the five percent and the seven percent. So these are probably the one of the first ones that you want to uh, uh, you want to upgrade because they can they're minimal minimal amount of metals and they also give you the total attack that you're looking for. And as you can see here, I've combined the King's Guard uh, infantry and bowmen, so you're getting it's 90, 90, so it's 180 medals total here, and you're doubling that to a 14% total attack, um, where here it's going to cost you 240 medals to get that 9%. So this one is much more efficient, and you're getting the more total attack as well. And the Water Dancer uh, is another one that you can get, and it's it's, it's the same as the King's uh, King's Guard infantry and bowmen. Uh, the, the, the second tier is where the total attack goes to 7%. However, to get these medals, they're not in that uh, monthly uh, event that they have going on where you can get that re reduced rate. Um, so these will cost you um, a little bit more. You'll have to uh, you'll have to use the get the SS medals um, from uh, another place for what we, but you can use coupons and I'll show you where that's going to be. So we're back here to see that the Water Dancer is the same, the 90 medals as well, to get to that 7%. So even here, the 9 times 3 is 270 medals um, for, for these, uh, for the 21% uh, total attack, where here you're getting 9% for 240. So this is still much more efficient than that 240. The King's Guard is probably something that you want to work on um, last because it's, it's just a lot less uh, cost effective. Now here's the one that you're going to want to probably do first because it's a first tier and you're getting 5% total attack and it's only going to cost you 30 medals. So for 30 medals, 5% total attack, that's really, really good. And you can stop right there. You don't have to go for the total defense health, the uh, health reversal and the defense reversal because the, this, of course, you're looking at a much, much higher rate. And then getting back here, you can see where the Dothraki Riders uh, are costing 30 medals to get that 5% and then um, compare that to the other ones. The Dothraki Rider is probably the first one you want to uh, get if you can. And then the uh, Water Dancer, the King's Guard Infantry, and Bowman are the, other, the next three that you want to uh, uh, invest in if you're going that route. And then finally, the King's Guard is the, uh, the other one you want to. So if you add up all the total, just going from these to the total attack, you're going to get 35% total attack, and then the little bit of a bonus on top of that, you get that 20, 22% health and a 5% total defense. So you're getting, you're, you want to get the total attack as best you can, but you also get these this extra 27% uh, combined there for um, a defense. So which is which is really really nice to have as well. And then I just included the Unsullied here. As you can see, it's 990 medals to totally max out for the Unsullied, which would be for the, these other ones as well. They're all the same. Um, that it's the last one that really takes uh, a lot. So as you can see here, if you want to go for this fervor attack, um, which is essentially the same as total attack, because uh, you're going to be in fervor when you're attacking, but you got that. Uh, it's going to cost you 990 medals, um, and to get acquire 990 medals is e extremely expensive. Not not this. I will never get this. I would. I will. If I'm going to spend money, I will spend it in other places. I would highly recommend if you're going to spend a little bit of money, this is where I would do it. Um, it's a total, as you can see here, I, I added them up. It's a total of 540 medals for this for this buff right here. So why spend 990 to get the, the 15? However, I say that. And you're also going to get the other other ones in here as well, the fervor, health, and defense, which matter a little uh, matter a lot less. So um, I would recommend doing the uh, uh, doing this 541. Start from the bottom here with the Dothraki Rider, then work on these other ones up here. Um, make sure you do that if you're going to do it to that uh, event each month where they give you that uh, uh, massive discount. So now you may ask McQuillan, so where where do you get where do you get these uh, these medals? Where can I get these medals? Well, you can get these medals in the discount pack area and they give you 30 of them for 1,000 of those black diamonds. Now, I would never, ever, ever, and let me repeat that, ever, ever, get 
uh, spend 1,000 black diamonds for 30 of those metals. Every at the beginning of every week uh, at reset, you they give out those coupons where you can get 30% uh, off. So this will cost 700 instead of the thousand. Now that's where I would recommend doing it. So save up for that, get these metals here. You can get 30 of them and be able to apply them to. So I mean, right off the bat, if you get 30 of them, you can that uh, uh, I believe it was the Dothraki rider. Um, you can upgrade and get 5% total attack right off the bat. So basically for 700 black diamonds, you can get 5% total attack for all your troops, which is a really, really a fantastic deal to be able to do that to upgrade them. And it's a permanent buff. You don't have to have any uh, send any specific troop or commander out. It automatically is in there for the entire time. Now, there's also these special events that they have, like uh, it was, I believe it was Christmas, and um, there's a the anniversary of the game. They sometimes will give these at 50% discounts or they're fine coupons that are 50% discount. Um, if those come along, then most definitely do this because if you just look and say, oh yeah, these are just getting these medals. No, 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 you're getting 32,000 diamonds and you could use those 32,000 diamonds to buy um, you know, epic or elite uh, tokens to upgrade your awakened commanders. And then also you're getting all of these uh, these resources as well. And as, as you know, if, if you know, if, you, you probably have a farm, or if you don't have a farm for your account, your main account, then you know 30 million grain is nothing to sneeze at either, or 30 million of any of well 25 of these and 10 million gold. So it's, it's got some good other benefits in here as well, especially if you get multiple packs at um, like a 50% rate. So um, that's about it for today. I just wanted to go over some of this stuff and be able to uh, uh, give you a better idea of how to spend your money because there's um, some of some people will spend it. On the glorious set, um, you know, fighting gear, which is the best set you can get. And although it has, if you get it to a certain quality, it's very, very good. Uh, I, these these troop medals are um, actually a little bit; they're more cost effective, and you can get a, a really nice buff with them that's permanent, uh, where you don't have to have that equipment on. Um, so hopefully uh, this helped you. And uh, until next time, Mac out.